Magandang umaga, magandang tanghali, magandang gabi po sa inyo lahat. Mag- Again, welcome po sa ating podcast po, Kaibigan Podcast, dito lang po sa The Kaibigan Network. Again, uh, dalawang version to, yung nanonood sa live stream natin sa YouTube, Royce Ipolito, o Royce from Sweden, huwag niyo mong kakalimutan po yan. And then of course, uh, yung ating uh, podcast po. Yung podcast, sabihin na natin medyo mas magandang version kasi doon po sa live stream, ito po yung parang BTS, behind the scenes po. So nakikita niyo ako, narinig niyo ako nagsasalita pero unfortunately, hindi ko pa naayos yung tug- sa tugtog natin na galito eh. So pero, ngayon kasi ay magpapasko. So, puro tayong music ngayon pang Pasko. Okay, so uh, naku, samahan niyo po kami ngayon. Marami tayong pag-uusapan. Anim. Anim na pag-uusapan natin dito sa ating uh, Kaibigan Podcast. December 7. December 7. Naku. Yes po, mga kaibigan. Ayan. Oy, music na music guys. Paskong Pasko. Merry Christmas po sa inyong lahat. Magandang magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat. Magandang gabi, magandang tanghali. Kung nasaan man kayong sulok ng mundo, nako, uh, salamat po at nakikinig kayo, nanonood kayo. Good morning, good morning. Uh, ha, wait, nakalumutan natin lagyan to. Tapos. Uy, wait, 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 wait. nako wag yan. Yes. Uh, ha, yan. Alam mo itong, itong mga sakong, ah, ha. Message delay. Lagyan natin ito. Lalagyan ulo natin kasi ng mga... Ay! Well, shush. Uy. Yes, mga kaibigan. Magandang magandang umaga. Good morning. Good morning sa inyong lahat dyan. Okay. So, uh, paano ba ito? Yes! Yes, good morning, good morning. We are uh, back home again. Welcome to another episode ng ating Kaibigan Podcast only here at the Kaibigan Network po. Ako, magandang magandang umaga po sa inyo. Medyo Christmasy feeling tayo ngayon. Pinatutugdig natin kasi, like I said po, niluluto pa natin yung, yung, ayan, baba natin. Yung episode natin last, yesterday, uh, i-upload natin to mamaya. So, yun na mapapanood yung mas maganda, mas maganda yung makakasama sa sa inyong trabaho, sa kanyang mga kung ano-ano na ganyan. So again, welcome to the podcast. Ako po si Roy Sipolito, only here at the Kaibigan Networks, Kaibigan Podcast. Magbabalik po kami after a few reminders. Yes po mga kaibigan, nagbabalik po tayo ngayon patuloy ang ating uh, Christmasy music po ngayon sa atin dyan. At uh, kami po ay namamasko sa inyong lahat. Uh, gusto po namin kayong madinig, gusto po namin kayong makilala, gusto kung meron po... Ah, Matsi, hi! Matsi, hi! Uh, good morning! Uh, Matsi, where are you from? Are you a Filipino or are you from somewhere else? The, good morning, this is the Kaibigan Podcast. Unfortunately, this is the... Filipino version of the podcast but, but uh, again welcome to the show uh, the why the YouTube version the live stream version you could hear me talk but uh, you won't be hearing some of the music because we're still uh, connecting everything together okay so welcome back to the show uh, welcome again to Matt C okay thank you very much yes 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 so again um, we're going to talk about mga kaibigan yung mga pag-uusapan po natin mga t- Uh, oy, like, like I said, there are two ways to listen to this um, to this podcast. The live version, which is like you can hear me talking, maririnig nyo po kami nagsasalita. And the podcast version, yung medyo the more properly arranged. May music, pwede nyo kasama sa trabaho, sa pagdadrive, sa barko, sa aeroplano, sa kotse, bago kumain, natutulog, nagkakape, kung ano-ano. Di ba? Yes po, yan. So, 
parang pampagaan ng uh, pakiramdam. It's a Saturday here, December 7, 2024. Uh, kami po ay nagpapasalamat sa inyong mga suporta sa atin. We, we, ito pag-uusapan natin for this day, uh, for this episode by the way. Uh, yung mga from Finland. From Finland. Uh, students from Finland, if regards whether you're Filipino or not, we have good news for you, okay? And then, also, we have also a list of live artists. Live artist productions po that will be performing at the Casino Filipino. So, ayan, abangan niyo po yan sa Angeles. Casino Filipino Angeles. And then, of course, yung balita sa West Philippine Sea. Nako, ayan. And then, good news about Manny Pacquiao. Yes, mga kaibigan. And then, of course, mga kaibigan natin from Sambales. Mga Sambals dyan. Hindi ako marunong magsalita ng Sambales, pero nakarinig na ako niyan before. Sambales po, tungkol sa mangga, as usual, pag-uusapan po natin yan sa usapan business, kaibigan. So, makinig po kayo kung kayo po ay interesado magnegosyo ng mangga. Okay. So, ayan. Uh, we will be keeping... Wait. Ano ba ito? So pinatutugtog natin ngayon sa ating uh, radio ngayon yung uh, by ano ba tawag ito? The Soundlings by uh, uh, Dex the Holes by The Soundlings only here at the Kaibigan Podcast maraming maraming salamat po sa inyo lahat and then since uh, magpapasko ngayon don't forget uh, if you want to have Uh, you want to serve something different if you want to cook up something different besides the spaghetti the carbonara uh, hamon queso de bola at kung ano-ano abangan ninyo cheesy caldereta dito lang po sa The Kaibigan Podcast po yan magbabalik po tayo after a few reminders po Babalik tayo ngayon dito ulit sa The Kaibigan Podcast. Uh, before we go to the show, nako, again, maraming maraming salamat po. Don't forget to like, comment, sub- subscribe. Royce from Sweden po, Kaibigan Podcast. Magkamukha po yan. Uh, both po yan from The Kaibigan Network po. So magandang magandang umaga sa inyo lahat yan. Okay, we would like to greet a couple of our friends. Pilipinas Running Clubs, yan po ay sa Facebook. Si Miss Grace Vasquez, who... Um, nagbo world uh, ano trip around the world dahil um, ka-retire lang niya a few months ago at sumakay na agad sa aeroplano at hindi na bumalik sa Norway. <laughs> yes, mga kaibigan. Miss Grace Vasquez of course. Okay, and then si Sina Virtudaso. Virtudaso from Bohol po sila originally pero ngayon ay from the Lofoten Islands in Norway. So magandang magandang umaga, magandang tanghali. Ah, magandang umaga. Good morning. Good morning from our Norwegian friends. Uh, oy, Editor 375, thank you very much. Hi, good morning. Welcome to the show. We, we're just greeting Editor 375. If where you're from, please, we would like to know and to hear from you as well. If you have any questions, Just, just ask, okay? We're trying to diver- diversify as much as possible as we want to, but we're still, you know, still working on on our projects right now. So again, we would like to greet Matsi and Editor 375. Good morning. Thank you very much for subscribing. Really, really appreciate it. Uh, you would hear the the final version of this podcast uh, hopefully by tomorrow. Okay, okay. Yes. Okay, balik po tayo. Nurse Tess Ramos from California. Yes po mga kaibigan. Marie Lustal, originally from the Comotes Islands, but it's now from Germany as well. Daghang salamat dai sa inyong lahat. Nako, uh, kina, kinabuhi kita. Ewan ko kung tawa yun. Diyos ko, baka mamaya. Nako, gera yan. And then our friend from Thailand who lives in Switzerland. Tammy Swiss. Okay, Tammy Swiss, hi. Sawadika. 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 Okay. And then, of course, another friend of ours from uh, Negros. 
It's Rowena Bronda. Pagaling ka dyan, okay? To take care, get well soon. Yes po, mga kaibigan. Uh, wait, we're going to put another music Dito lang po sa... Yes! Yes, 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 mga kaibigan. Good morning again. So, uh, and then of course, uh, not but not the least, of course, ang ito, kilalang kilala natin itong lahat. Si uh, Jobert Sukaldito. Familiar sa inyo, no? Uh, si Sir Jobert po kasi ay isang showbiz reporter based po yan sa Philippines. Nako, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good afternoon ngayon sa Pilipinas. Good evening ngayon sa North America, Canada, yung mga ganyan, tsaka sa South America. Good evening po sa inyo lahat. Broadcasting live from Stockholm, Sweden. It's 8.12 in the morning. It's a Saturday. It's a little bit cold. If you are from Stockholm, don't forget to visit later on Nobel Lights in Gamlastan and in the Stockholm City Hall. They have going to show, or at least the Nobel Week, the Nobel Week, the one that's like related to, uh, how do you say that? Related to the Nobel Prize. It's the season for giving uh, uh, the awarding ceremonies as well. And don't also, uh, in a way, it's also around the city of Stockholm, there's a lot of uh, lights, displays, exhibitions that are all related to the Nobel Prize. Yes po mga kaibigan, kasi a Nobel Prize po is based or si Alfred Nobel is a Swedish person who invented the dynamite. Tapos uh, he regretted invented the inventing the dynamite, the dynamite. And then uh, as a way of being sorry, he put up much of the earnings from dynamite into a prize, which is now one of the most pre prestigious prizes anyone can get in a lifetime. So, dito lang po tayo sa ating, um, uh, wait, we call it, uh, yes, let's do this. Oy, 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 wait, wait, we are not, what's this? So, wait lang mga kaibigan, we are, yes. Uy. We're just putting up a lot of songs here on our DJ stuff. So, yes po mga kaibigan, it's a slow uh, good morning. It's a slow good morning here on Stockholm. Okay, so now we have to go to what are we going to talk about today. Uh, now we have to speak a little bit more English because we seem to have uh, non-Filipino friends who might not be talking or understanding Filipino. So good morning, good morning to everyone. Kaibigan means in Filipino, the language from the Philippines, it means friend, yes. Yes, so uh, welcome to the show. Uh, really appreciate it as well. Good morning, we'll keep you, uh, how to say that? We'll keep you company uh, as you take your morning coffee. What's your favorite breakfast as well? Mm, thank you very much as well. Yes, okay, so um, back again to our latest news. If anyone, okay, this is for anyone who lives or is studying in Finland, okay? In Finland, we have good news. If you have been studying in Finland and you have already started, uh, uh, finished studying in Finland, okay, the, the most important part here is that you are studying in Finland. Yung po mga nakapag-aral po sa Finland, doon po kayo nag-aaral regardless po, regardless of whatever you studied, okay? The most important part is you have finished or you're almost going to finish or you're going to finish what you're studying in Finland as long as it's accredited, uh, officially recognized course po sa Finland. So again, yes, good morning, good morning. If you are finished, now, you can, uh, either you're employed, a businessman, or a private trader, if you're planning to do any of those, you can apply for a permanent residency. Yes, that's very good, Paul. Congratulations in advance. The, as long as you have studied um, in Finland, whether it's nursing, it could be nursing, plumbing, mechanics, cooking, uh, as long as it's a government-recognized course and you studied on a recognized educational facility, 
you can use that as a basis to get your permanent residency, ladies and gentlemen. Ako, uh, that's really, 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 really good news po sa ating mga kaibigan dito sa ating mga... And we want to like really congratulate yung people that are... Yes. Okay, so mga kaibigan, nandito po tayo ngayon and... Uh, You can apply for a residency permit. Yeah, somebody is going to be very happy these days. Okay, so you can do it for work because you have finished a degree in Finland. That's the most important part. Finish a degree in Finland. Okay, that's the most important part. You have to finish. So if you are uh, staying in Finland as a temporary worker or something, if you are qualified to study, Please do study. I know it costs a lot. Pag mamuhunan po tayo, you need to invest on yourself. And then you would eventually gain permanent residency. And what, as long as you're working and avoid getting into trouble, yeah, Merry Christmas to you. Yes, mga kaibigan, okay. And this is like, a, there's no restrictions according to the... To what we have gathered without restrictions, any field of study uh, should be completed. Okay, like I said po, completed. Kailangan natapos ninyo yung kurso. Again, ibig sabihin nun ay natapos walang baksak. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So, mga kaibigan, huwag nyo ka. And then, option number two, yung po yung kanina, yung option number one, is if you're unemployed, But your student who have finished studying in Finland, it's very tongue twister now, Finnish studies in Finland. <laughs> yeah. Okay, anyway, it's, uh, you can still apply for a residency permit. Oh, that's really very good. Yes, yes, thank you, Finland. Thank you, Somi. Um, we would like to greet, of course, congratulate Finland, the Finnish con uh, the country of Finland for recently celebrating their Independence Day. Yes. So, uh, Kitos, Kitos, Finland. Yes. Um, if you have finished studying in Finland, you can start up a business, which is also the basis for your residence permit. So you don't need to get an employer. Uh, yes. Oh, this is the good news. Good news, uh, good news to everyone. This applies to everyone who have who are studying and if i were you you should study uh how do you say that you should study uh, something medical course if you if you have the stomach to do this please because it's really a highly in demand uh, uh, profession and your chances of not being unemployed is very small yes po mga kaibigan maraming maraming salamat po and then in both option one and option two if you have passed all of the requirements and you can prove that you have finished and everything which is fairly very easy would you believe after one month you you were going to get your residence permit In Finland po ito. So, kung na, if you're from Finland, regardless who, where, who, whatever you are, as long as you're legitimately staying in Finland, you might be working as a, on the basis of a work permit while you need to work. Because that would be the common arrangement. You arrive in Finland because an employer in, uh, sponsored you to work there. But you're tied to that employer. And also, you're ty tied in Finland that you're allowed only to stay provided you have work that is related to the first one. Oh god it's really hard to explain no just kidding okay so ang mangyayari po niyan ang kailangan po ay uh, makatapos kayo you just need to finish yes po mga kaibigan magandang magandang balita po yan sa ating mga kababayan po na nakatira po sa Finland kung kayo po ay work permit pa lang na nakadikit sa isang employee ay uh, employer Uh, yung, bang, yung, yung type na kailangan ninyong uh, may trabaho old kind of like gloomy uh, Saturday here December 7th here on Stockholm good morning good morning everyone so basically right now ladies and gentlemen for those who uh, federal I live in Sweden okay I live in Sweden Good moron, good moron. Okay, see? Okay, good moron. But you have an American flag. Do you happen to be like Swedish who lives in the States? 
Okay. Yeah, good morning, good morning, good morning. So, good morning. Like little Svenska, I'm still studying SFE. Okay, okay. Pinaliwanan ko lang po doon sa ating nagko-comment po dyan na I'm still studying Swedish po. Because here in Sweden, if you're on the IT sector, uh, it's not really compulsory to to learn Swedish that much. But it is really a plus if you know how to speak a language from the in the country where you're living from. It is really, 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 really... It's really, really very, very uh, important as well. Not just because uh, you can order food or, you know, do stuff. No, no, no. It's really very important as well. So, like I said, if you're living anywhere, Lithuania, Latvia, you should learn the language there because it's quite important. It really would open more doors professionally speaking as well. And then, of course, you're going to understand the culture as well. And we came here to adapt. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Kaibigan Podcast. We are just talking about the latest news from Finland. If you are, like I said, if you are uh, studying in Finland and you're about to finish, then I have good news for you. Which mean, which is that if as long as you're finished, studying finish study so it's it's a tongue twister again um, you have the uh, right to stay and work and contribute to Finnish society as well and of course to the Finnish economy yes that's what we always should do contribute on where we're staying okay okay let's go but 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 please note you must submit your applications and its requirements before, yes po mga kaibigan, before your papers expire. Yes po mga kaibigan. So you cannot just simply, just simply say, okay, I'm, go- I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that. No. Oh, yes. Oh, this is a happy song. Yeah, but uh, it's very short. Okay. Yes, we're 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 playing some music here on the podcast. You would see the the complete version maybe by tomorrow on this particular day. So again, th- welcome back to the Kaibigan podcast. And uh, we're going to add some of our regular music programming because uh, I still have to make a mix of uh, Christmas songs. But um, I have um, electronic um, music here, but uh, it's just too much. <laughs> yes. Okay. So we're just going to like make sure uh, we're doing something very right. Again, welcome to the Kaibigan podcast. Uh, only here at Royce from Sweden. We really, really appreciate your your here. Uh, very, very grateful. We just wanted to uh, wait. Okay. Okay. Wait. Okay, we're trying to get something going on here. Okay, wait, wait. Oh yes. Okay, we're trying to go. Okay, okay. Because uh, right now we're going to do this. Yes, okay. It's very hard to talk and play the music as well. I think it's a better idea, if a better idea, if I mix it first and then play it later. Just like I'm going to do something right now. Yes, yes, mga kaibigan. Okay, so on the... uh, We're back here. We're using our um, other channel. Oi. We're using the other channel's uh, music. So wait, what happened? Okay. Yes, okay. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening again. My name is Roy Sepolto. Welcome back to the Kaibikan Podcast. We're going to just change the... Uh, because before, you see, we're, pla- we're using this one, okay? Now I'm using this one. Okay, okay. Okay, Yes, mga kaibigan, magandang magandang tanghali, magandang magandang tanghali po sa inyo lahat. And like I said, yung latest balita po natin is sa Finland. So, if you have any other questions, just, 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 just 
feel free to ask. Just like Federal Government 123, Matsi and Editor 375. Good morning, good afternoon. My name is Roy Sipolito, broadcasting live from Stockholm, Sweden. Only here at the Kaibigan Podcast. Yes, mga kaibigan. Okay, so we would like to have some news for... If you're in the Philippines right now having your vacation, congratulations. Yes! Very envious. Magandang, magandang umaga sa inyo lahat dyan. Okay, uh, from our friend, from our friend and also our boss, Maribet Diaz from Live Productions, Live Artist Productions. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong pagtulong. Sila po yung uh, nagbibigay ng... Um, eh, paano man nagbibigay? Sila yung ating supplier ng celebrities if you want to produce shows here in Europe. Live Art Artist Productions. Nag-iisang legitimate po yan. Uy, nakibento pa lang. Yes. Uh, so, uh, live artists. Let's say, basahin natin to. Uy. So, it's strictly by invitation. It means that you need to call Casino Filipino Angeles. Lahat po ito ay Casino Filipino Angeles. So, yung mga kaibigan natin from Region 3 or even in Metro Manila, pwede po kayong manood dyan. So, starting on December 11, Richard Merck and IV Violan. Yes po. Richard Merck and IV Violan at the Casino Filipino Angeles Pampanga. Yes po yan. This uh, is brought to you by Live Artist Productions headed by, of course, none other than Miss Maribet Diaz. Yes po mga kaibigan, maraming maraming salamat po. And then, Richard Merck po, ele December 11, strictly by invitation only. Wow, astig. Uh, si ano naman to? Vina Morales. Yes. Vina Morales, December 12, 8 p.m., Casino Filipino, Angeles, Pampanga. Yes, Paul. Again, all of these shows are brought to you by Live Artist Productions, headed by Maribet Diaz, of course. Yes. And then December 18, which is the next weekend, Sugurian, it's Pokwang. It's the... Ay, nako, masaya ito. Rayot ito, mga kaibigan. So, December 18, again, uh, hindi siguro ang... Ibig sabihin siguro ng by, by invitation only is that uh, you should uh, be uh, calling and making a reservation to go and watch this as soon as... as early as possible, of course. And... Uh, Pokwang, December 18, Casino Filipino, Angeles Pampanga, it starts at 8 o'clock. Yan po mga kaibigan. Again, doon po sa ka-tune in lang natin sa ating YouTube live streams. Maraming maraming salamat po. Ako po si Roy Sipolito. Kung hindi niyo po pa ako kilala, ako maraming maraming salamat po for trying out the Kaibigan Podcast. Kami po ay nagpapasalamat po sa inyong lahat dyan. Ako, thank you very much po. Thank you, thank you. If you want to be greeted, shout out po. Lagay nyo lang po dyan sa ating chat and we'll, uh, we'll do something about it as well. If you have any questions as well, living in abroad, not necessarily sa Sweden lang. When we say Sweden, we are just based here. We also work here. We live here. We like the way of life here in Sweden. It's not for everyone for sure. Um, if you, even if you think you can, it's still not really for everyone. I it's a lot of people come here for all of the wrong reasons. Yes po, yan po, totoo po yan. Uh, many come here for the wrong reasons and then they ended up being sad. Uh, too bad, I'm really sad about it as well. Pero you need to understand that, uh, let's say it comes in the brochure, all of these things, the darkness, the cold weather, the snow, some rain, less people and all of these things. It's, it's something that you either get used to or not. Okay, so no amount of hard work, no amount of ambition will take care of this one if you don't really like it. Okay, it's just as easy as if you don't like sushi uh, and then you're going to Japan, then it's not going to work. Yes po, mga kaibigan. Again, uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. You're listening and watching at the same time uh, through our BTS behind the scenes in YouTube. And then we're recording our program, uh, the proper program. It's strictly audio because uh, the, the logic of this po podcast is that most of our listeners are working at the same time. And uh, from the point of view of an employer, we don't want our employers to think that this show is um, 
it's a nuisance and it's taking their time. So we're really concentrating on the audio, like a radio show, some music, lot of talk, music, lot of talk, news, a little bit of fun, a little bit of laughter to make things easier throughout your day. Okay, so uh, another one, live artist productions again at Casino Filipino is Boopsy Wonderland. Kilala niyo po ito, from the Philippine comedian po ito, December 27, 8 p.m. Uh, you need to call to attend or watch this. You cannot just simply walk in randomly at the venue on the set date. It's all 8 p.m. Casino Filipino all weekends this December. And this is all brought to you by Live Artist Productions, headed by, of course, none other than one by, uh, eh, none other than by boss, Maribet Diaz. Maraming maraming salamat po. Again, if you want to watch any of these shows, please contact Casino Filipino Angeles Pampanga. Telephone numbers, telephone numbers, 091-629-65714. I repeat, uh, Casino Filipino Pampanga, Angeles Pampanga, 091-629-65714. Also, there's another phone number that you can call in to inquire for tickets if it's still available. Please do as soon as possible. Uh, it's 96 296 5397. Yan po ang mga phone numbers. Again, I repeat, Casino Filipino Angeles Pampanga. If you want to watch any of the shows, 096-296-5395. Yes po, mga kaibigan. Maraming maraming salamat po. Ulitin natin ulit, ha? Uh, Richard Burke and Ivy Villan, December 11. Strictly by invitation, Vina Morales, December 12. And then Pokwang, December 18. Boobsy Wonderland, December 17. Yes po, mga kaibigan. Uh, I hope you enjoy uh, watching them. Masaya po yan. If, if you like kantahan, Richard Merck, I give you lan. Wala, ano pa hahanapin natin dyan. And then of course, uh, sino isa? Uh, Oy, si Vinar Morales, di ba? Ang ganda ng boses niyan. I very, parang husky ba boses ni Vinar Morales if you were going to just say that. Uh, that would be the description. Again, uh, we would like to greet a very good friend and one of our few, uh, past guests, Miss Doris G. Rodriguez. Yes, emphasis on the G. Kasi relatively very common in Dor Doris Rodriguez, pero to make sure. And then she has an ev event in the Philippines, which is tomorrow, December 8th. Colores de la Vida. Okay, this, the Colores de la Vida, December 8th. Uh, just contact Doris G. Rodriguez po yan sa Facebook. Naging guest na natin yan. Thank you very much, Doris. She's the animator, one of the animators from the Pink Panther series, the cartoon series. Uh, they did that proudly Filipino. Again, maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat. Ma'am Doris G. Rodriguez. Okay, emphasis in the G. <laughs> yes! Okay, so magandang magandang umaga, magandang tanghari po sa inyong lahat. At uh, kami po ay nandito ulit sa inyo para magpasay. Um, animators, uh, restorers, ano pa ba? Celebrities as well. Huwag niyong kakalimutan niyan, don't forget. We have also celebrities coming very soon. Filipino mga artists po yan. Uh, if you, oh yeah, by the way, if you are living abroad and you want to bring, uh, to produce a show or you want to create a show in your place, where, uh, where, wherever it is, uh, please contact us and we will try to make things happen. Okay, yes po mga kaibigan. Uh, back to our greetings as well dito po sa ating Kaibigan Podcast. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat dyan. Miss Chetolosa. Yes! From Sela Hotel, Pasay. Yes, magandang magandang umaga at tanghari gabi dyan sa inyo. Uh, sa lagay ba naman ni... Eh? Diba? <laughs> no, che, I met Che when they went here in Sweden seven years ago. So, naku, maraming maraming salamat. You should come back here and visit Che. Okay, and then we would like to greet uh, our Filipino... German Filipino designer Mary Sieber uh, from Karlsruhe, Germany. Yes, thank you very much. And then, of course, uh, one of the most beautiful faces in the Philippines, past, present, and future. Uh, 
Blanca, ¿va? Yes, po. Uh, I used to work with her. Oh, at least I had the chance to work with her. The beautiful, very tall, very sexy, very lovely Elaine K. Moll. Yes. Isa yan sa mga alaga ni Mama Rene. Among many. Uh, Mama Rene, salud po. Halos lahat yata na maganda sa Pilipinas dumaan sa kanyang palad. Yes. Or sa kanyang pananahi. It's either one of those things. But in a nice way, of course. Don't forget yan. So, Mama Rene, mwah, mwah, mwah. we love you very much. Sa dami na nagpapadala ng pagkain sa iyo, most of them is healthy and delicious as well. Stay sweet and stay lovely and we look forward to seeing you again. Yes po mga kaibigan, good morning, good afternoon, good evening again. You're listening to the Kaibigan Podcast. My name is Roy Cipolito, only here at TKN. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyo lahat. We'll be back after a few reminders. Okay, nagbabalik po tayo dito sa The Kaibigan Podcast. Welcome back again. If you are watching from our YouTube channel and the live streams, again, welcome. Maraming maraming salamat for liking. And please don't forget to comment and subscribe as well. It will be really, really, really appreciated. If you have Patreon, we are also there. We have special uh, packages and special um, offers for you. If you are going to do the Patreon, Patreon Roy Cipolito. Okay, R-O-Y-C-E space Hipolito H-I-P-O-L-I-T-O Again, maraming maraming salamat po. We are also in Patreon. Okay, in Instagram, The Kaibigan Network. Uh, Facebook, Roy Cipolito. And then also we have pages there, The Kaibigan Network, Pinoy's in Sweden, Usapan Business Kaibigan. Uh, lahat po yan andoon. So maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat. Mga kaibigan, regardless where you are from, we would like to hear from you. Please uh, put a... Um, Uh, send a message there at uh, we will really really appreciate to dito po sa the Kaibigan Network. Okay, we would like to greet uh, ito nabasa natin to sa isang post ni uh, Miss GR Rodis. Ay nako, kung kayo artista uh, sigurado na rin niyo to the legend. Yes. Si GR Rodis, ito po ay isa sa mga pinaka tinitingala at kilalang mga managers ng mga artista po sa Pilipinas po. And uh, maganda yung kwento niya na nabasa ko doon sa kanyang official feed, okay? Uh, masarap mag-brunch. Yeah, she had the brunch today, Saturday, December 7. Dito po sa Pilipinas po yan. Ito, ako, ngayon pa lang, bab- nagugutom na ako eh. Fried egg, deli mondo corn beef. Ano yung deli mondo corn beef, mga kaibigan? Yung mga nakatira po sa Pilipinas, what's the difference between the ordinary corn, corn beef and the deli mondo corn beef? And then, shiritake rice. Okay. Parang shiritake, hindi naman ito yung shiitake mushrooms, di ba? So, and then coffee. Yes. Kung ako kakain ito, Instead of coffee, orange juice. Yung fresh orange juice, ah, hindi yung... Hindi yung... Yeah. Okay. So, again, Oi, we would like to hear from you. What's your favorite uh, uh, typical... Um, tawag dito? Typical breakfast from where you're from. Well, not in Japan. What do Japanese people or Japanese people that live in Japan eat for breakfast? Okay. It's not sushi, of course. Di ba? So we just wanted to know. It's um, I know it's a dumb question, but it's you know, if you're not from there, we would just you're just curious, okay? Not everybody eats cereal. Not everybody eat rice because in the Philippines, <laughs> rice, fried rice is the breakfast food as well because it's the food that was eaten last night with an egg. <laughs> Yes, oh, kaibigan. So again, welcome to the Kaibigan Podcast. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat dyan. Uh, 
Like I said, gusto po namin kayong makilala. Gusto namin po kayong marini. Gusto po namin kayo. If you have any questions, if things that you want to learn and listen, uh, pag-usapan po natin dito. Uh, habang kayo nagtatrabaho, nagdadrive, naliligo, oy wow, yes. Di ba masarap ngayon maligo? Uh, take a bath, warm, long, slow bath. And then, uh, habang nagpapalipas kayo ng oras, you're listening to this show, uh, yes. Oy, suggestion yan, suggestion. So, um, ngayon po, we're going to be talking about something really interesting sa inyong mga kaibigan natin dyan na uh, Nagpe-prepare to go back to the Philippines and start your retirement. Ah, yes. Uh, we would just like to let you know that it um, there's this very good business opportunity that we would like to let you know. Okay, we're not part of it, but uh, we just wanted to let you know. Okay, mga kaibigan. Um, another topic for today, it's from the Sambales Provincial Government. Ah, This is already ver- verified news po ito mga kaibigan. Um, even if you're not from Zambales, uh, nababalita na natin na ang mangga doon is very delicious. Okay, very delicious. Okay, nako huwag niyo kikwento ito sa mga tiga, tiga gum- Gimiras, Gumiras Island at um, aaway-away tayo dyan. Kasi again, ang, ang Gim- Gimaras Island po, Masarap rin ang mango because I have tasted both as well and I, I have been to both places as well. Ang pinagkaiba po kasi sa Gumiras Island is wala sila nung peste. Na, nakalimutan ko yung pangalan nung peste pero uh, uh, wala doon. So, paano sikat at malakas ang negosyo ng mangga sa Gumiras Island? Gumiras Island ay wala nung peste at yun lang ang mangga na nasa Pilipinas that are allowed to be exported to the United States. Yes po. Because there is no insect. So whoever had this idea that was floated around that they are going to build the bridge from Iloilo City to Gimaras because their Gimaras Strait is very small. It's very short. It's very easy. It's, it's, It's like this. If you're standing in either side, you could see the people walking. But a little bit like small. Ayun po. Uh, the moment that you're going to bring, build a bridge on this part of to connect the island to the bigger island, it's going to spell disaster because the insects will have the easier way of crossing. Okay. And no amount of prevention or biosecurity measures will fix this. Okay, so mas maganda na po yan. Paano hindi naman makatawid yung mga insekto? Baka sabihin niyo doon sa mga pilosop po. Uh, <laughs> malakas po kasi ang hangin doon sa lugar na yan. So siguro yung mga insekto, pag susubukan nilang tumawid doon, natatangay sila sa dagat. So siguro, because it's really strange. Ako po, naka, I have the opportunity to visit Gim- Gimaras Island. And it, to be honest, it's like, uh, it's very near. It's very near. You have to take a ferry, pero it's very near. You could actually see the coconut trees from the Iloilo side, from the other side as well. But a little, very, quite far, ha? Hindi naman to yung magkakapitbahay lang na ganyan. Pero it's really that close enough that you could see that there are coconut trees there and there are fruits on the coconut trees or coconuts there. Okay. So, back to Sambales. Uh, mga kaibigan, Sambal is known by this very famous Carabao Mango. Yes. At um, there's another variety, it's called Dimamulag Mango. Ulitin natin ulit. Dimamulag Mango, it's um, yung kalabaw na mango. Kasi doon rin po sa, from the province where I came from, we also grow mangoes. And uh, we also grow... Uh, you know, we have trees that are from the carabao variety. When you say carabao, it's kind of like plump because yung pico made you sexy siya, di ba? Okay. And the pico is sweeter, but the problem is it has less flesh, it less fruit, and more seed. But the carabao, it's much more plump, and so you, you get more fruit, and you can eat more. Okay, so it's more... It's more convenient and 
much more better. You get more fruit and juice from a carabao variety mango rather than the other mangoes as well. And the provincial government of, of, of Zambales have launched a 50 million peso uh, mango valley project. Oy, very good. Nako. Ito po yung mga klase ng mga government projects na it makes sense to tsaka yun ho ang kailangan natin. Hindi po yung puro politika lang tayo, mag-usapan lang tayo, puro mga politika, 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 wala ang katapusan na politika. Ay, nako. It doesn't really work. Uh, so, naisipin po ni Governor Hermogenes Bebdani Jr. Parang ito yung military person to yata before. Eh, siya na pala ang governor ngayon ng Zambales. To set up, to make Zambales a Mango Valley. Para ba yung Silicon Valley? Uh, ganyan. So, uh, maganda ito. Maganda. Kasi, sana, sa atin lang, if you, paano po tayo? We always say we're very rich with natural resources, but we just sell them as is. So, it's cheaper. If we make a product out of it, mas maganda siguro po mga kaibigan at lalong mas mamahal at mas maraming perang papasok para po sa mga nagdindikosyo. So again, ang government po ng Sambales, kilalang kilala sila sa mga mango plantations po dyan, ektarya po ang labanan po sa mango. Uh, ang habol, po, hab, habol nila dito is to expand production, increase yield, at uh, mag-add ng value. Ang ibig po ng mag-add ng value ay yung bang Mamahal. <laughs> diba? Mamahal, in a way, kasi hindi na siya yung ordinaryong fruit. Kasi yung ordinaryong fruit, kahit gulay, o ano mo naman sa atin, di ba, mga magsasaka, uh, pag fresh ang binibenta mo, kasi limited time lang yan, ubos na, kailangan ng itapon, kasi nabubulok. Di ba? So, hindi mo yan maganda. So, according to the government of Zambales, ang pilot farm nila, yung phase one, para ho sa mga mangga, ito po, ay, sa totoo lang, ito ha? You don't need to be in Sambales, pero yung uh, magtanong po kayo sa agricultural office ninyo sa mga bayan ninyo kung pwede magtanim o maganda magtanim yung lupa ninyo or yung, yung bayan ninyo ng mango. Kasi hindi ko yung maniniwala, oh, oh yes, the ground looks the same everywhere. Something like that, pero hindi po yan totoo. So minsan, uh, may mga lupa ho na hindi hiyang ang mangga, so sayang lang ang oras ninyo. Paano minsan may mga nagtatanim ng, let's say for example, doon sa probinsya namin, pag nagtanim ka ng lansones, hindi yung tutubo. Pero pag nagtanim ka ng lansones sa Laguna, tsaka doon sa medyo malalamig lubing lugar ng Batangas, Cavite, tumutubo siya. Okay, so yan po ang uh, marami yung pagkakaiba, yung klima, yung tubig, everything. Pero dito sa Sambales, I think they were blessed to have a very good uh, climate and soil na ideal po sa mangga. Okay. At uh, meron po sila mga projects dito. Yung 31 hectares na Batumbakal Farm sa Pala- Palawig Town. Tapos yung Sitio Buen Farm which is government owned sa Botolan, Sambales po. Ayan. And yung isang 24 hectare na Almas Farm sa Iba, Sambales. Yes po yan. So gusto ko nilang kasi yung paramihan, ito maganda ko ito na naisip nila. Kasi hindi naman porke tinalim mo na yung mangga habang buhay na yan natutubo. O pag hindi mo yun inalagaan, well, uh, wala rin yung prutas. Kumbaga. So when you're growing something, regardless whether you're, uh, you're anywhere sa farming or sa agriculture, no food, no fruit, no flower, no meat or no nothing. Di ba? Ang ibig sabihin lang po nun, pag hindi tama pinakakainin nyo, kung meron kayong pigari at nagbebenta kayo ng mga piglets, kung hindi tama pinakakainin nyo, ko konti ang piglets. Di ba? Kung naman po mga uh, katulad nyo sa mangga, pag hindi tama ang lagay nyo ng abono, yes mga kaibigan, nilalagyan rin ng fertilizer ang mga puno. Okay. Uh, hindi rin magmumunga ng marami yan. Eh, Siyempre, pag hindi namunga ng marami, hindi yan kayo kikita. For example, dun ho sa, from, the, from the place that I came from, each mango tree may namamakyaw doon, naglalaro, hindi bababa. Siyempre, titignan nila yung puno kung, kung gaano kalaki. And they're experienced enough to predict or at least guess 
Kung ilan na, uh, kung marami mamumunga ito or something, ang tawad nila minsan is yung uh, 50,000 pesos, which is about just under 1,000 euro per tree. And they will be gambling that this tree would would bear fruit na more than 50,000 pesos worth ng prutas. Yes po mga kaibigan, again, nakikinig po kayo and you're watching as well dito sa YouTube yung Kaibigan Networks. Kaibigan Podcast. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyo lahat. Nakikinig po kayo dyan. Welcome. Gusto po namin kayo madinig. Yes, broadcasting live from Stockholm, Sweden. Ako po si Roy Siporito. Nagbabalita sa inyo. Sinasamahan kayo habang kayo nagtatrabaho, nagdadrive, nagkakalmasalan, at kung ano-ano pa. Kung nakahiga pa kayo ngayon because it's a Saturday morning at malamig, lalo na dito sa mga Northern Hemisphere natin, ay uh, tamang-tama po ito. So, doon sa gusto magtayo ng negosyo, alam ko kasi masarap magtayo ng tree farm. O, hindi naman automatic na kailangan lang ay uh, manga, pero it could be any mango variety, could be lansones, ano pa ba mga pwedeng itanim yan? Uh, bayabas? Uy! Bayabas, santol, uh, ano iba? Rambutan... Oy, si action legend uh, Dan Alvaro, may puno yan ng rambutan sa bakuran niya. Kumikita yun, ha? Yes, mga kaibigan. So, uh, okay, so, ang claim to fame kasi ng Sambales Mango ay uh, yung Sweet Elena na variety na Carabao Mango. Alam niyo yung mga ganyan po. Ay, delicious. Diba? Bang- mango, Philippine mango is one of the most delicious mango varieties in the world. In fact, may mga bansa that they bought or it's, I, I think most likely ninakaw nila yung, yung mga seeds o yung mga buto and then tinanim nila sa mga bansa nila. Meron dalawang bansa which you will, I would not name na suspiciously parang Philippine mangoes but they are now selling it like their own mango now. Unfortunately, that happens in most cases po sa mga kaibigan. Uh, yung pong Sweet Elena ng Sambales po is um, napunta po yan sa Guinness Book of World Records being one of the sweetest or the sweetest mango variety of 2000 no, of 1995 sa Guinness Book of World Records at its sweetest mango. Yes. So, I ko kung sino na sweetest ngayon. Kung I would like to have that job, tasting mangoes for the Guinness Book of World Records. Diba? That would be a nice job, just eating mangoes. Okay. Okay, okay. We'll, we'll see. Okay. So, again po, nakikinig po kayo sa magandang usapan pa natin dito sa The Kaibigan Podcast. Only here sa ating uh, programa dito sa tao dito dito sa kaibigan podcast natin we are happy to talk to you nako maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat again the uh, recap po ng ating mga pinag-usapan today oy yeah, yeah 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 wait 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 so don't forget yung mga students po from Finland kung if you just tune in po dito may maganda po akong balita sa inyo we have good news if you're staying in Finland and you are studying there Uh, the accredited courses, of course. If you're studying there, you're about to graduate. Good news. Uh, if I'm very sure you're studying and working at the same time. But uh, there's news from now that says that if you have already finished um, an education in Finland, most likely a degree course or something accredited, uh, you, can, uh, you are now allowed to have your own permanent residency just because you just finished studying in Finland. You have to study and finish studying in Finland, not the other way around. Okay, and when you are finished with Finland, uh, with your Finnish studies, finish, finishing your Finnish studies, it's, it's really, it's, it's really like, oh, that's my daughter early morning. Okay, uh, you are now allowed under Swedish, uh, under Finnish law to have a permanent residency based on that. So you don't need to be uh, tied to an employer or to a just to get your 
finish permanent residency. Okay, yes po mga In your remaining Don't forget, days of ruler, you need to apply you wish to gain. for this permanent Kabina residency before your papers expire. Only for the kingdom after. to continue to it's prosper in the hands of my rule. chosen successor. Regardless whether you are a student or not, you need to renew your documentation before they expire. Not after they expire. Because it's already expired. You lost the right to have it renewed. Because you have nothing to renew. It's a big old thing. Here illegal, in my country, uh, it is what the rich are getting richer. So Whilst we are, we are bound by our debts. If they need to be renewed, uh, before, after it gets expired. And then if I were you, six months before the expiration date, you should already go to the immigration office of wherever country you are staying. And then make sure that all of the requirements that you need to have it uh, renewed, you can at least have enough time to prepare for it or request it or get it or whatever the case may be. So yan po mga balita po natin again. Again, we would like to greet our friends from Pilipinas Running Club. That's a Facebook page. Ito ang gaging ito. Ang magat ang hali sa inyo lahat po dyan. Yes! Okay, Grace Vasquez. Hindi mo kami maluloko! She's also a very famous person. Almost 80,000 followers in Facebook. Ito ang gaging ito. Grace Vasquez. First three months of the time. Ito ang gaging ito. Yes. Ito ang gaging ito. And then of course, for the... Why are you doing this? Hundreds of thousands of female nurses based in America alone. Yes, I know. We would like to meet one of them. Tess Ramos, somewhere in California. Yes, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. And then, of course, our uh, one of our uh, highly respected uh, showbiz uh, reporters in the Philippines, Jobert Sukaldito. Maraming maraming salamat po. Mabuhay po kayo dyan. Thank you very much again. So, ayan. Ako. Yes, nililista natin lahat to. Okay. Okay, don't forget po. Again, to, uh, who just tuned in right now, Casino Filipino Angeles. Casino Filipino Angeles, if you are from Region 3 or even in sa, Pilipin, uh, sa Manila po kayo, it's just one hour away already ang Angeles. Starting December 11, when is December 11? Today is 7, 8 tomorrow, 9, 10, Wednesday. Okay, this coming Wednesday, it's uh, Richard Merck and Ivy Violan. Uh, 8 o'clock po yan. Uh, make sure you call. We'll give you the numbers after a few of the in, of the information. And then December 12th, that would be Thursday. The most one of the most beautiful voices in the Philippines, Miss Vina Mira Morales. Uh, December 12th, 8 p.m. Oi, Vina Morales, anian bisdakyan from Cebu City. Yes, oh, from Cebu Province, if I'm not mistaken. I'm very sure she's from Cebu, pero hindi hindi ko alam kung sigurado. Tika ano ba siya? Si Manilyn Reynes and si um, si Vina Morales. I'm very sure they're from Cebu Province, pero hindi ko alam kung sila mismo ay tika Cebu City mismo. Okay, mahaba yung isla na yan. So, pero it's very beautiful as well. So don't forget, kung hindi pa kayo nakakabisita sa Cebu, please visit Cebu. Hindi lang Cebu City ang maganda, Mactan Island is maganda. Uh, punta kayong Malapascua, punta kayo sa yung masarap na carbon market. Yes! Ako, masarap doon po rin. Lahat ng dried fish at dried buto meron doon mga kaibigan. Yes! Pero they're absolutely delicious as well. Ako, maraming maraming salamat. Danggit! Ako, kung sino ba na may danggit, available po akong ambunan ninyo ngayong Pasko. Yes po, mga kaibigan. Okay, to our Bisaya friends niyan, daghan salamat. Maayong tanan sa inyo. Ano eh, maayong... Ano, what's the araw? Kasi uh, maayong gabi sa inyong tanan, which would be good evening to everyone. Anyway, 
Balik po tayo. December 18, Casino Filipino Angeles, Pokwang. Pokwang po, riot po yan. Nakakatawa, kilala niyo naman si Pokwang. Pokwang, December 18, 8pm. Yes po. And then December 27 po is Boopsy Wonderland. Boopsy Wonderland, December 27, again, 8pm po. Casino, ang, Casino Filipino Angeles. Uh, so, alam mo, simula nung gumanda na yung mga uh, expressway po sa atin, what used to be two and a half hours to three hours yung Manila to Angeles City is now, they say, naglalaro sa isang oras on pagmaganda conditions. It's very good, di ba? A very good improvement. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay, don't forget, if you want to watch any of the shows po mga kaibigan, which is produced or made possible by live artist productions headed by no other than my boss, Maribet Diaz. Yes. Boss, December na. December na po. Sa lagay pa naman eh. Yes, okay. Uh, ako, pero napakabait niya na boss. Sa so, totoo lang. Uh, very down to earth. Yes. Nako, sabi ko sa inyo. Uh, okay, so if you want to watch any of these shows, uh, you can call. Hindi ko yata pepeneng pumunta doon ng yung kumpaka walk-in lang. So you have to call Casino Filipino Angeles. Telephone numbers 0916296 Six, five, seven, four... Ay, mal- po natin. Wait! <laughs> not good, not good. O, ulitin po natin. Casino Angeles, uh, Casino Filipino Angeles, Pampanga. If you want to watch all of these shows na binanggit po natin that produced by or made possible by uh, live artist productions, Casino Filipino Angeles phone number to call 091 29 at yung isa pang number 0962965395 ah yes po yan mga kaibigan uh, wag niyo pong kakalimutan uh, If you have extra time, kung busy kayo, may bisita kayo, kung kayo ay uh, nagbabakasyon from abroad and malapit lang para sa inyo itong Casino Filipino Angeles City. It's a very beautiful place as well. Magpunta, ang daming hotels, things to do. Buhay pa ba ang ano? Yung mga duty-free? Hindi ko alam kung, kung buhay pa yung duty-free na ganyan. Kasi nung araw yan, dyan nag-umpisa yung sumikat yan eh. Di ba? Yung uh, Duty Free, tsaka natatanda ko yung palm brand yun na corn beef, malalaki yun eh. Ang sarap. Di ba? Pero, uh, I'm not really sure. Ang pure gold, nata- doon ko na first time ko makapasok sa, sa, doon sa bagong version ng Duty Free, nung wala na yung mga Amerikano, kasi nakakapasok ako before I have the opportunity to visit and see Clark Air Base before when it was under the Americans and it was like going to Texas. Yes po, mga kaibigan. Ewan ko na lang ngayon, puro na lang naman building. So, wala na yung mga open spaces. Bakit po tayo mga Filipinos, galit na galit tayo sa mga bakanting lote. Hindi tayo, mat- ano eh, hindi tayo matigil. Basta lahat ng, kahit maliit lang na lupa, kailangan lagyan ng something. Hindi tayo mapakali. Hindi ko maintindi niyo kung bakit. Pero... Like I said, pagsisisihan natin siguro lahat ng ating mga decisions in the future. Yes po mga kaibigan. Again, you're listening and or watching uh, YouTube na natin dito, Royce in, from Sweden. And then of course, sa ating Instagram, The Kaibigan Network. Facebook, Royce Ipolito. Uh, huwag niyo pong kakalimutan yan. Do like, comment, and subscribe. We really appreciate po. Gusto po namin kayong makilala. Gusto po namin kayong madinig or mag-iwan po kayo ng message. Mag-iwan din po kayo ng regalo kung pwede. Pwede. <laughs> De, joke lang. Hindi po. Hindi po. Hindi niyo po kailangan kaming bigyan ng regalo. Huwag niyo, hindi niyo kailangan kaming bigyan para lang po namin kayo maging kaibigan. Ah, ayos ba? Di ba? Yan. Ang galing na sinumaling. Di ba? Ay, nako mga kaibigan. Nako. Again, it's a very uh, cold uh, Saturday morning po dito po sa Stockholm, Sweden. Pero pinasasaya po namin ang inyong mga umaga, tanghali, or gabi kung nasan man po kayo sulit ang mundo with this. Itong simpleng show natin na kaibigan podcast. 
At uh, gusto ho namin kayo makausap. Gusto, like I said, gusto namin kayo makilala. Again, we're very grateful na nanonood kayo ngayon. We, we love it. Okay. Ngayon, ito na tayo. Isa ang pag-uusapan natin dito ngayon. One of our last topics. Sana hindi. Pero it's one of our last topics. The holiday season is already here. And if you're a foreigner, the f- semi-official Christmas season in the Philippines starts on September 1. Yes, ma- yes, yes, that's true. September 1. The moment we call it the bear month, September, October, November, December, it's basically the last quarter of any year. The entire Filipino nation who celebrates uh, Christmas, they go crazy and gets excited. And then we have this like, you know, instead of Mariah Carey, we have this guy called uh, Jose Marichan. Okay. And people start playing Christmas songs. People start putting Christmas decoration at the 1st of September. Yes, yes. Really, really. Apparently, we are very popular or very well known to take Christmas very seriously, mga kaibigan. So, uh, like I said, uh, and for our non-Filipino friends who have not yet experienced the, the way we celebrate Christmas in the Philippines or at least in a Filipino home anywhere in the world, uh, how do they say that? It involves a lot of gift giving. It involves a lot of eating. <laughs> So, uh, if you're going to a party that is hosted by a Filipino, make sure you have an empty stomach. Yes, yes. Because you're going to eat a lot of delicious food. So, we have the lechon, which is roasted pig, which is, according to Anthony, Anthony Bourdain, the late Anthony Bourdain, is one of the best lechons around in the world. Yes. <laughs> So uh, we have a lot of food there. Of course, we have the noodles, different kinds of pancit, which is also a variation of a, it's like Asian pasta, but it's uh, made out of rice noodles or glass noodles, or depending the case. Because it, apparently, every family has an official version of their pancit. Yes. <laughs> so uh, good luck. Anyway, so like I said, mga kaibigan, o nga pala, paalala ko lang sa inyo, if you have a foreigner guest or first time na makakatikim ng Filipino food, number one suggestion namin and the number one that we have been researching for the last 14 years dito sa The Kaibigan Network is that uh, kung hindi nyo alam kung ano pakakain o una nyo yung patitikman na Filipino food sa ating mga foreign guests, uh, subukan ninyo ang adobo. Yes po mga kaibigan. Bakit adobo? Uh, as far as we know, at halos lahat ng mga nakakausap namin ng mga foreigners, uh, they seem to like the taste of adobo. So for those uh, non-Filipinos yet, to, in a nutshell, we're going to just explain what adobo is. Adobo is, um, is a Filipino dish made out of basically five ingredients, which is some protein. It could be chicken, pork, beef, uh, what else? or some other exotic protein, soy sauce, the Filipino version, vinegar, the Filipino version as well, and pepper, garlic, and maybe bay leaves, which would be laurel in the Philippines. Okay. And if you make it soft and tender and boil it and reduce the, the sauce into like a, like a soya sauce reduction with the vinegar twang in it. It's really delicious. Okay, so again, uh, depende po yan where you are and depende rin sa guest ninyo. Of course, kung bawal sa bisita ninyo yung baboy, uh, kung Islamic po ang bisita natin, huwag naman ho kayo magsaserve ng baboy, di ba? <laughs> so, anyway, the good thing about adobo is that on, except for fish, uh, it do well. To be honest, there's an adobong, adobong itik, adobong ahas, uh, that snake, adobong bayawak, adobong usa. Practically any meat can be turned into adobo. That's why it's very popular. But unfortunately, it has 110 million recipes. 
Okay, so there's no official recipe. The five ingredients would be like the basic one, but some people put sugar, some people put uh, chili, uh, onions, you know, be creative. Yeah, but in case you want to try something new, uh, we have found this new recipe, which is caldereta. <laughs> Bago daw recipe, tapos caldereta lang. No, no, no. Ito naman ay baked caldereta. Ah, di ba? Di ba? Baked caldereta po tayo ngayon. Cheesy baked caldereta. So, una kong impression dito ay si caldereta ay ginawa niyang parang formang lasagna. Yes po. So, if you know how to cook lasagna, uh, gawa lang kayo ng caldereta na hindi masyadong masabaw and I think this would be it. Okay. Ngayon, doon po sa mga medyo cooking challenge natin mga kaibigan. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Alam nyo, hindi lahat mahilig magluto. Pero if you're going to try to learn how to cook, well, this is this recipe is fairly easy. Uh, again, yung mga ingredients is depende po yan sa kung ano gusto ninyo. Again, ah, uh, We'll go to the ingredients list and uh, let's see if you're going to be, you know, impressed or interested, okay? So again, like I said, yung protein, yung karne, kahit ano yan, pwede nyo. Kung meron kayong palaka dyan, well, why not? <laughs> yeah? Pero, you know what? I just wondered, why does every other piece of meat taste like chicken? You know, why does everything taste like chicken? Yeah. Okay, so I'm assuming na yung pagkumain tayo ng elepante, if we're going to eat an elephant, it probably tastes like chicken. Mm. Pero I know some people eat elephant meat somewhere in Africa. I have African friends and they call this bush meat, including uh, elephant. But don't eat them if it's against the law or something, okay? Anyway, so we're going to share to you this cheesy baked caldereta. And caldereta is a, is a stew in English. Stew. S-T-E-W. Okay. So, um, this dish was concocted or invented by Chef Rosebud Benitez Velasco. Okay. Alam niyo naman po, pag yung mga ex-Spanish colonies po, ang haba ng mga pangalan. Katulad nito, Rosebud Benitez Veloso. Diba? Meron pa nung araw, Don B, Don Juanito Ramirez, Eduardo Peralta, Marcos de Cuanco. <laughs> Sipin mo na lang kung paano may susulat yun sa papel pag meron kayong quiz ng elementary, diba? Nung parang, paano? <laughs> okay. Ay, uh, well, pero, pero siyempre pag mayaman, special treatment, diba? Dahil siyempre, mga teachers, aminin niyo yung mga teachers dyan, Alam niyo sa totoo lang ha. I, uh, I'm not saying this para magpaninig sa mga dati kong teachers pero aminin niyo ay yung mga teachers din may mga favorite kayo ha. <laughs> yes po, yun, mga ganyan. Marami kong kilalang mga tao dito sa Europe na nakilala ko ng mga Filipinos na may tampo sa kanilang mga teachers. Sana naman po wag naman po masyadong obvious. Di ba? Huwag naman po masyadong obvious dyan. Pero again, balik po tayo sa Chichi Bake Caldereta at nagugutom na rin po ako ngayon. So, so this Chichi Bake Caldereta was invented by, I guess, by Chef Rose Bud Benitez Velasco. Yes! So, shingir niya ito sa, sa internet. Pero again, uh, ang ingredients natin, okay, dahan-dahan to para maganda. 200 grams slice thinly pre-boiled potatoes. Okay. So, i-ano nyo muna. Slice nyo, tsaka nyo pakuluan ng konti. Ha? Huwag yung pakuluan yung potato and then tsaka nyo i-slice. Dudurog na ho yan. Okay. And then, 500 grams beef sirloin. Mmm. Yummy. It's also pre-boiled. Okay. So, ibig sabihin nung pakuluan is yung half cook. Okay? Para lang ho, uh, pantay-pantay ito pag ito niluto na in the end. Okay, don't forget the beef could be anything na walang buto. Di ba? Pag <laughs> naman nalagay ng buto. At uh, baka ho kayo mahabla. Mahirap na. 
So anything na giniling, yung shredded ground beef, ground pork, or ground chicken. Meron bang ground chicken? Just tingin nyo. Tingin nyo lang. Ground beef chicken. Hindi nga. Tanong nyo lang. Ewan ko. Anyway, balik tayo. Two tablespoons ng cooking oil. Or, mas maganda at healthier kung uh, olive oil. Okay, pero medyo ibang lasa niya. And then, one piece onion chopped. Uh, four cloves of garlic. One carrot, small cubes. So, siguro mas maliit, mas maganda ito. One cup tomato sauce. One cup beef broth. Half cup liver spread. Uy, mahal to. Magkano na ba ngayon na liver spread sa Pilipinas? Alam niyo sa totoo lang, yung Mang Tomas, hindi na pala liver ang nakalagay doon. Nung araw yun, natikman ko pa yung Mang Tomas na, na ano tawag dito? Uh, yung talagang liver pa, pero siguro, saksak. Eh, Siyempre, pag maramihan na gawa, hindi na pwede yung liver talaga. Ewan ko, pero nagawa nila ng paraan. It still tastes similar to liver, liver sauce. Eh, eh, balik tayo sa usapan natin. Okay, patis or pepper para lumasa. One leaf ng laurel. Or sure. Ay, na, ulitin natin ulit. Ha? 200 grams thinly uh, sliced na potato. 500 grams of beef or anuman karne. Two tablespoons fulls of cooking oil. One piece onion chopped. Four cloves of garlic, minced. One carrot small cut into two cubes. One cup tomato sauce. One cup beef broth. One half cup uh, liver spread, patis and pepper to taste, uh, one laurel bee, uh, leaf or bay leaf yan, uh, isang siling labuyo, uh, siyempre, mas malaki, mas maanghang, uh, half cup cheddar cheese, half cup mozzarella, and then basil uh, to garnish. Shhh, ganyan, mga ganyan. Procedure, saute garlic and onions, plus beef, and then carrots until it's soft. Okay, mga kaibigan. And then add tomato paste. And then make it simmer for a few minutes po. Yan. Uy. Nararamdaman ko lang. Ah, yes. <laughs> Making me hungry. Pero again, nakikinig po kayo sa The Kaibigan Podcast. Uh, welcome back po sa inyong lahat. Ako, maraming maraming salamat po. We would like to hear from you. Please like and comment and subscribe. Ako, we would really, really appreciate the support. Mga kaibigan ko dyan, kahit saan man po, sulok ng mundo, seaman, sea girl. Tama ba yon seaman, sea girl? Well, we'll see. Pero, Gusto ko namin patiin sa inyo yung mga nasa Antarctica. Ewan ko kung nasa na kayo doon. Ako, delikado yung Drake Passage. Anyway, nagluluto pa rin tayo. Balik tayo sa ating pagluluto. Okay. So, after lumambot na for a few minutes yung tomato paste, tsaka yung beef and galito, add the liver spread. And then simmer na naman. Pakuluan lang yung pinaganda lang yung pakuluan ng konti, yung simmer. Okay? Hindi ho yung sinner. Iba ho yung makasalanan. Nako, iisipin niya naman si Maris Rakal na naman yan. Ay, nako po, hindi po totoo yan. Okay. So, pagkalagay ng liver spread, season it with pepper, patis, laurel, and chili kung gusto niyo ng manghang. Okay, yung patis, um, relax lang. Relax lang kasi baka naman masyado maalat yan. Pero iba yung lasa ng karne pag mayroong, alam mo yung nakakapagtaka, bakit yung katas ng isda nakakasarap sa karne? Di ba yung chismis na chismis yan na isa sa mga secret recipe ng Jollibee Chicken Joy ay may patis yung kanilang marinating ano na yon Baka, who knows? Okay, so again, uh, Pag naayos na yung caldereta mix, kasi ang labas nito, if I'm not mistaken, para siyang spaghetti sauce. So, kailangan nito medyo malapot siya. So, relax lang sa tubig. Make sure na malapot siya. Ha? Yung medyo para siyang giniling pa rin na medyo malambot lang sa giniling. And then, uh, doon sa pang lalagay nyo sa oven friendly na mga casserole na ganyan, ilagay si potato sa ilalim, yun ang gagawin yung sahig, yun ang kanila foundation dyan. At ipatong si uh, kalahating kilong 
uh, karne na ginisan na natin at lahat. Okay. And then, uh, don't forget to preheat the oven first. Huwag niyong lalagay muna yung ito nang hindi pa umaabot sa 150 degrees Celsius. Okay. Celsius po tayo. Fahrenheit, I have no idea. Yes po. Again, nakikinig po kayo sa Kaibigan Podcast only here at the Kaibigan Network Broadcasting Live mula po sa Stockholm, Sweden. At uh, kami po yung nagpapasalamat po sa inyong lahat dyan. Again, uh, we would like to hear from you. Okay. So malapit na tayo. So pag nakarating na sa 150 Celsius, ngayon, dun so sa medyo hindi marunong magluto, pag po kasi ininit nyo ang, ang oven ninyo, huwag ko kayo matatakot. Uh, make sure na huwag kayong mapapasok, magsuto kayo ng mga meated sa ganyan na pang, pang gan, ano tawag dito? Yung pang oven talaga. Umiilaw po naman ang mga oven. So pag umiilaw siya at nawala yung ilaw, ibig sabihin nun umabot na siya doon sa temperature na kailangan. Ito po ay para po doon sa mga ngayon lang po susubok na magluto. Uh, kung gusto niyo magpa-impress, ha? yung mga Pilipina dyan na naghahanap ng afam. Yes! Ito na pagkakataon ninyo. Ha? May mga kilala ko dyan ha? na, na, na tawag dito, malamig ang Pasko, pero baka ito luto ninyo, baka uminit ang Pasko ninyo. Yes! Di ba? <laughs> Talaga, wais kayo. Ha? Okay, so pag dumating na si 150 Celsius, yung nasa casserole na ganyan na oven friendly, wag yung plastic ha. Lagay niyo and wait 10 minutes. Okay. After 10 minutes, serve hot. And meron na kayo no cheesy beef caldereta. Alam niyo sa totoo lang, naisip ko noon dati kung sakali lang na ayaw niyo yung potato, pwede kayong gumamit ng yung lasagna na pasta, yung ginagamit sa lasagna, yung parang mga mga tissue paper. <laughs> na gano'n, gano'n. So, sundin nyo lang kung paano i-prepare yun. Parang pre-boiled rin yata yun eh. Tapos, lagay mo doon or patong... Hindi. Hindi yata pinakukuluan na yun. Lalagay mo lang doon yun. Tapos, yung pinaka moisture from the sauce, yun na yung magbe-bake sa kanya o magluluto sa kanya doon sa, sa, sa oven. Okay, so again, don't forget, salamat kay uh, Chef Rosebud Benitez Velasco para sa kanyang potentially delicious uh, cheesy baked caldereta. Hmm, alam niyo mga kaibigan, may naisip lang ako. No? It's another crazy idea, pero baka sakaling meron na kayang uh, instead of cheesy caldereta, how about spicy lasagna pero adobo? Ah. Di ba? Not bad. Di ba? Posible yan, ha? Posible. Di ba? Sa tingin ninyo. Di nga, ano lang natin yan? Uh, uh, iniisip ko lang po sa inyo kung baka sakali na na tao dito. Uh, pwede. Pwede. Yes. So again, andito po kayo, nakikinig po kayo sa ating uh, Kaibigan Podcast only here at the Kaibigan Network po. Yan, I hope na masasarapan kayo o subukan nyo. Uh, kung, ito susub- kung ito susubukan ko itong cheesy baked caldereta, uh, instead siguro na potato, ang gagamitin natin ay, uh, tawag dito, gagamitin natin siguro yung lasagna. Di ba? Para lang. Kasi parang, uh, tawag dito, para kasing ano eh, parang mas masarap sa tingin nyo lang. ba? Diba? So, tingnan natin to. At, uh, let's see, wait, magpatugtog tayo ng something na mas maganda yung, tawag dito. Ito mas maganda ito siguro. Yes! Yan, yung medyo masaya-saya naman. At uh, it's a Saturday morning, gusto naman natin yung medyo nakakabuhay ng dugo. Di ba? Di ba? Medyo nakakabuhay ng dugo. Yung something na magpapaganda ng araw ninyo. Ah, uh, yes. Di ba? Huwag niyo kakalimutan yan. So again, meron na kayong lulutuin para sa Pasko na bago na Filipino food. Pero kasi alam niyo po kasi, to be honest, uh, ang mga foreigners kasi po ay uh, medyo hindi nila type yung 
hinilatay masyado yung mga pagkain natin kasi dahil masyadong mesing kainin. Katulad ng isda, uh, inaalis na nila dito yung yung buto tsaka yung ulo uh, dahil sa filet. Alam mo, sa totoo lang po mga kaibigan, maganda po yan idea. Alam nyo kung bakit hindi nila naalis yun? Hindi dahil sa maarte. Uh, Unang-una, para hindi matinik. Yes, di ba? Pangalawa, uh, malakas kumain ng ng uh, tao dito, malakas kumain din ng mantika or ng ingredients tsaka ng energy yung ulo, bunto, tsaka yung buto na hindi naman kinakain dito. Pero most of the time, uh, ideally sana hindi na naman kinakain kasi uh, hindi ho lahat ng tao sanay kumain ng medyo may tinik-tinik na ganyan. So, pinuputo na nalang yung filet na lang, yung karne na lang mismo nung isa ang hinahabol. So, it's either binibake or piniprito or kung ano man. Uh, mas matipid nga kasi halos walang tapon. Diba? Pag kumain ka na, tsaka hindi messy sa lamesa yung may mga tinik, kinakamay, or whatsoever. Yun yung siguro ang dahilan. Isa yun. Tsaka yung katulad yung mga kinakain natin, yung mga uh, kailangan ng hindi pwede ang tinidor tsaka kutsilyo, di ba? So, hindi ano, hindi hindi pe pwede yung uh, masyadong messy kasi eh. So, yes. Ay, naku. Again, uh, welcome to the Kaibigan Podcast. Ako po ang inyong kaibigan, si Roy Sapolito. Dito lang po sa the Kaibigan Podcast. Yes! Uh, okay. So, meron na po tayong, again, sinadjust na inyo na makakain. Cheesy baked caldereta. We will try to find other Christmassy recipes na pwede niyo subukan para sa darating na Pasko. At uh, alam niyo naman, after 3 months or 90 days, the Christmas preparation ng mga Filipinos para sa Pasko, walang katapusan to hanggang epiphany yan, di ba? <laughs> so mga kaibigan, again, akong maraming maraming salamat sa inyong lahat. Uy, again, uh, we would like to hear from you, mga kaibigan. So kung nasan man kayong sulok ng mundo, kung nasa North America, South America, Africa, Australia, uh, Asia, uh, Antarctica, wala pa namang Pilipino sa outer space, so hindi pa natin kinakausap yung mga tao doon. Anyway, uh, kami po ulit ay nagpapasalamat, okay? So, alam nyo na, Christmas sa Christmas na po tayo dito ngayon, dito sa The Kaibigan Network. Huwag nyo na hong isipin na uh, asahan ako yung magsuod ng Christmas, uh, Santa Claus, at uh, hindi pa tayo ganun katanda, tsaka wala pa tayong bigoting ganun. Yes! So, mga kaibigan, again, Ano ba? Okay. So, uh, if meron kayong mga uh, suggestions, questions, uh, humi- gusto nyo humingi ng payo, uh, we, would just li- we would like to hear from you as well. If you're from Stockholm, although, ano eh, ngayon, dito sa mga nakikinig sa atin, if you're from Stockholm, regardless from where you are from, uh, Nobel Lights, the Nobel Week starts today. Sa hanggang, until next week yan, uy, uh, Tonight, it will be the Nobel Lights. So if you are near the Stockholm City Hall, there's a beautiful surprise to you. We always go there. And we're going to film so you, we can show it to you. Uh, and then uh, we'll take it from there. Okay, mga kaibigan. Yes! So again, like I said, uh, advance Merry Christmas. Don't forget to uh, say it to your loved ones as well. Diva. Yes, and this is the part of the show that we have to say goodbye. Okay, so again, uh, maraming maraming pong salamat po sa inyong lahat dyan. At uh, kami po ay, uh, we're very grateful. Again, very successful episode po ngayon ito. We are hoping to hear from you soon. Uh, don't forget to check on all of our other uh, podcast po. Kasama ninyo makinig para sa trabaho and if et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, di ba? <laughs> yes. To all our uh, non-Filipino friends who are very interested on learning Filipino culture, get in touch with us. We will connect you to the right people. And uh, we hope that uh, we could help you as much as we can. It's totally free of charge. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, again, sa mga Pilipinos, saan man sulok ng mundo, ako ang inyong kaibigan, si Roy Sipolito, only here at the Kaibigan Podcast. Mabuhay po kayo lahat! Goodbye po! Magkita kita tayo. Bye! Ayan, ayaw mamatay. Okay, Doki.